Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm gonna be going over some investments you guys can make um, and kind of just what the market is doing right now. Team of the week, we have the new cards, new special cards um, in packs. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe. We are getting closer to 2000 subscribers. Um, if you enjoy trading and wanna learn how to make coins this year, make sure to sub. Also, I'll be live on Twitch um, sometime after this video is out. So definitely make sure to go check that out follow over there I've been grinding twitch streaming is very fun so if you guys have any questions or we literally do everything over there we'll play champs we'll probably qualify open packs SBCs player picks just came out so I do want to talk about that we will be doing I think I'm gonna do a hundred of them because I, I don't know I have four million coins so why not do a hundred you know um, but that'll be on twitch live over there so make sure to follow over there if you haven't already pause this video right now and go do so um but let's get into this video as you guys know always starting it off with the transfer list showing you guys what i have been doing i've been flipping these informs and i did want to talk about informs because they're they're kind of interesting this week because they did get supplied a lot right so i want to talk about that but we sold it to pi today at like 64 i think we sold jesus at 195 we picked them up for like 180 Sold him at 200. We still have a bunch to sell. I did sell my Hakimi because I just wanted the coins to trade with. We bought him at like 265 or 268. Um, so that's a very good puffer right there. Traore, Traore, I can't even say his name. We bought him at like 32, I think 33. Um, he's selling at 37. And then these we just picked up. We didn't really do anything. We just sold them back. Um, but that is basically it for the sold items we are still lazy listing all of these because these hernandez's we bought at like 175 i got i got one at like 160 something i think but i think i have around 10 of them right i got a defy at 62 way overpaid on that um but i got a one at 168 to at 52 170 so we picked them up for around 170 k for hernandez and if we go look right now on the market he is, I checked earlier and he was like 185, right? So I'm kind of just waiting. I think he's down a little bit right now. Um, no, he's not. So he's around 190, right? So I'm literally just waiting. He'll go out of packs. He'll go up to 200 in my opinion. I think he will. Um, I'm not sure I want to wait until he does though because that's probably going to be like Sunday, um, next Sunday. So I don't know if I want to wait that long, um, but I will be making good profit on him. I bought around 10 of them. Um, I have some deposits. I have some Navas's that I think can do very well. Uh, he just gets links to Marquinhos and Kempembe, which is just like the two most meta center backs in the game. One of the most, um, and this is the best keeper I've used so far. So at 30k, he was way too cheap, and he's already starting to go up. Um, I did want to talk about SBCs because we got player picks, okay? And I will be doing these like crazy i love player picks um let's let's just do it right now okay i have no one in my club that's probably gonna put in informs okay didn't right but they require four players and you only need one rare so 15 chem the the chemistry is kind of hard to get um that's what i've i've kind of noticed but if you can get it right we need a rare player um, let's just put in him so okay easy right that probably cost 2,000 coins like one of them is 2,000 coins right it's very cheap and let's see it is only out of two okay but it is what it is we we take it right this early in the year it's not the best it's a 75 plus um I did four of them or five of them today and I got boards and three of them in an inform so I'm probably gonna do like a hundred of them let me let me know who you guys get but for SBCs we didn't really get anything we got the fakir we got the player pick um so the market is going up it's on an uptrend if we go over to footpin really quickly and i just show you guys everything's up you know dembele dembele rises every week and i think i'm going to invest in him heavily next week i'm just saying that right now he, like look at this he just goes up and down up and down Saturday he was 30, today he's 47. So, or 39, today he's 47. That's almost 10k a card. So, Dembele is very good. Rashford always goes up. 
Kempembe goes up, Llorente, De Bruyne, Conte, uh, Varane, De Jong. The, these meta-type players, they just go up. And even if they're gold, it doesn't matter because people are getting the coins. And I want to talk about Mbappe. Okay? Because this guy's just going to go up, you know? Everyone is getting to the point where they have coins. He's 1.4. He was literally 1.1. Um, and now everyone has coins and they want Mbappe. I could see this guy going to 1.5, 1.6 soon. So I would say buy him sooner than later because I just see him going up. I mean, obviously, he's not going to go up the entire year, okay? Sometime in this year, he'll be worth 700k. But I'm just saying, as of right now, in the next coming weeks, I see this guy going up um, because people are getting the coins, right? People are wanting, wanting the top tier players. And they're paying for it. They're getting the coins. They're getting millions of coins. Ronaldo's not up. He's still one more mil. But I feel like Mbappe is the player that everyone's wanting this year. Um, all the pros are using him. So everyone else is going to want them. Conte as well, we're seeing. He was around 380. Now he's at like 440. Um, so these, these top tier players are going up. And these expensive mid tier players are going up every Sunday because people are getting rewards. So what you guys can do is invest in them Friday or Saturday, and then they will go up Sunday. We've seen it happen the past couple of weeks. Let's take Rashford for an example. Like, it, we, we just see him, right? They, they just go up. Sunday, they go up. He was like 70K. He went up to 80. So these Sundays really, really, really push these cards up, especially the meta ones. Dembele is very, very good. He's five-star, five-star. Everyone wants him, and he shoots up. People aren't really selling off their teams this year, which is a very good thing for the market, you know? Um, but, I mean, I'm kind of just lazy listing my cards because I have 300K in my club. I don't really have anyone worth value. I have a Jesus in my team that I bought at like 180, 181. A Navas that I bought at like 32. And a Hernandez that I bought at 165. So I'm kind of just chilling, right? I got this Triore at 37, I think, 36. I don't really have anything of value. De Bruyne, I bought at like 140. But, I mean, he's just in my team. This guy I'm just holding just to see how high he can go. He's already at like 25K. But other than that, I'm just invested in fodder. And I'm going to tell you this. I know I've told you a million times. If you're not, go buy fodder. I don't care, Okay. Because I bought these when Aguero was 7,000 coins. And if we go look on the market right now, he's up from that. And he's only going to continue to rise because we're we're going to start to get SBCs. Okay? Like, EA is starting to put out SBCs. Aguero is like, like 16K right now, you know? So I'm just saying these type of cards are going to start to go up 87s, 86s. Fodder is a very good investment. Look at some of these Team of the Weeks. Look at some of the new cards. I think um, if we go look, I think Gravenberch is a really, really, like, no-risk investment. If you can get them at, like, 15K, I think it's very no-risk, you know? Um, they're, they're probably going to win their game. Like, I just think he goes up. So look at these cards. Look at the popular page on Footbin. See what's down. See what's not down. Like, get these prices in your guys' head, right? Vidal, Tenali. Tenali, you're basically paying for this card because he's in a very hard group, you know? So they might not make it out and he might just stay in 84. So if you're buying this as an investment thinking he's gonna get upgraded, I mean, if he does win, he'll go up a lot because people aren't gonna think he's gonna get upgraded, you know? So he's kind of just gone down over time. But I'm really liking this Marquinhos wherever he is um i'm really liking this all right he's not 690 you can find him at like 650 660 i i mean i think this is maybe the best center back in the game and he's on psg so he's going to continue to get upgraded so i think we were looking at like a 91 rated card here and in my opinion 700k 660k for this card is very cheap um, I think we could literally, I think it's going to be like a Varane from last year. If we go look, I think it's going to be like his road to the final last year. Um, 91, he was like a mill. Like if we go look at this, he was a mill because he was the best center back in the game. Um, 
So I'm thinking this is what's gonna happen. He was 800k at some point and he went to 1.5. I'm thinking it's gonna be the same. Um, I mean, if PSG goes through with it, this card will be way more expensive. So if you're on the higher tier budget, if you want him for your team, go ahead and use him. I think it's a very good investment. Um, but yeah, I think I think that is kind of what I wanted to get off from this video. Kind of just like a general market video, some investments for you guys. Um, let me know who you're invested in. And let me know who you get out of your player picks too. Because I'll be doing hopefully 100 just to see. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to sub. Make sure to follow the Twitch. And yeah, thank you guys. See you in the next one.